Hello! <laughs> I always like dive in from the side. Hi guys, we're doing a quick workout, 10 minutes, just 10 minutes. Arms, upper body, we're gonna hit chest, back, triceps, biceps, everything. It's gonna be really quick and dirty, not dirty, fun. But anyways, that's what's up. So grab your mat, if you don't have a mat, that's cool. Grab a spot on the carpet or a towel works. Whatever you got handy, guys, it's uh, quarantine time, so no worries. Hello, hello. All right, guys, so we're going to be doing five exercises and repeating through two times. So that's kind of what's up. So just so you have that in the back of your mind, as we start off on round number one, we will be coming back and doing those same movements again for a second round. So two rounds of five exercises, that's what's up today. So I'll just wait like another, till it says 12.31, which will be one minute past, but I just wanna give people a chance to come on. Okay, and I will post this. So if you're watching this later, then hello to another time in the day. But right now it's 12.30 on a Thursday. So, and it's not raining yet where I am, so that's exciting. All right, peeps, on your mats. We are starting in a kneeling push-up position, and we are going to be doing tricep push-ups. So hands are right underneath your shoulders. You are kneeling, and you are squeezing your elbows to the side of your body and pushing back up. Nice and slow and controlled. Squeezing those elbows right to your body. They should not be kicking out to the side. So make sure your elbows are right in against you. They're not out here. They're in nice and tight, keeping a tight core throughout. Nice and low and pushing back up keeping a sturdy body. If you're able to do this up on your toes, then great. By all means, do that. But I am not one of those people. One more here, coming right down onto your stomach, laying on your stomach on the mat, bringing your arms up overhead and back behind you. So reverse snow angel. It's like you're doing a snow angel, but face down. Keep your thumbs up towards the ceiling. Squeeze those shoulder blades together every time you bring the arms back behind you and then up above. That's it guys. Keep snow angeling. We're almost there. And last one, rest. Coming back up onto your knees or toes, doesn't matter. We're going back into a plank or a push-up position. Nice and sturdy core here. Dropping down onto one elbow, back up and then give me one push up. Dropping down onto the other elbow, back up, and give me one push up. If you need to drop down onto your knees for the push up, that's totally okay. One elbow, back up, you can lower onto your knees, and then doing a proper push up. So in these push ups, Elbows are now that 45 degree angle from the body. Make sure your hands are right underneath your shoulders. They should not be wide out apart. You're doing one more here, dropping down onto one elbow and then the other back up and last push up. Beautiful. Flipping over onto your bum. Exercise number four. We are lifting our pelvis up, doing one tricep dip, and then touching opposite hand to toe. Tricep dip and touch. Tricep dip and touch. Dip and touch. 
Little bit of core action. Dip and touch. Dip and touch. Keep your core engaged here. Dip and touch. You've got it. Don't stop. We're doing one more on each side. Touch, dip, and touch. Awesome. Flipping back over onto your stomach. We're doing a lot of flipping because we're flipping between muscles on the back of our body and muscles on the front, just to give a break where needed. Coming into a kneeling plank position, walking your hands out one step in front of you. So they're slightly in front of you. Core is engaged. You're gonna drop down onto your elbows and lift back up. Dropping down and up. Try to come up on both arms at the same time. Core is engaged. Drop down onto those elbows and lifting up. Keep going, guys. Keep your core tight here the whole time. Core is nice and tight. Try to raise up on your arms at the same time. If you need to bring your knees in a little bit, that's totally okay. Elbows and raising up. Last one, dropping down onto those elbows and coming back up. Whew. Give your arms a little shake. We are going right back over to exercise number one, which is our tricep push-ups. So, hands are right underneath your shoulders, on your knees or up on your toes, whatever feels comfortable for you. Squeezing our elbows into the rib cage. Let's go. Aim your chest right to the ground. Make sure those elbows are squeezing against your rib cage. They're almost rubbing along your body as you lower and come back up. Only go as low as you're able to comfortably do. Don't get your chest right to the ground if you're not able to push back up to the top. Lower and up. One more here. Push and back up. Nice. Let's go down onto our stomach into our reverse snow angels. Remember, thumbs are facing up to the ceiling, squeezing your shoulder blades together every time. Chest is lifted slightly off of the mat. So feeling this through your whole back, upper and lower, making sure that your elbows have just a soft bend in them, okay? So they're not locked out. Just a soft elbow and reaching back behind. If you can get your hands to touch behind you, behind you on the bottom, that's awesome. Thumbs facing up towards the ceiling the entire time. One more here and to the top. Let's take it back up to the top of our push-up. We are doing our commandos and a one push-up. So lowering down, back up, and regular traditional push-up. On the other arm, lowering down and back up and push-up. Down and up, guys. Lower onto your knees for those push-ups if you need to, but then come back up onto your toes for the commando. It's all shoulders. You've got it. Lower down and up and do that push up. Last one on this side, down, up and push up. Beautiful. Coming back onto our bum, we're doing our dips with a toe reach. So opposite hand reaches opposite toe. So, lifting that pelvis up, dip and reach. Dip and reach. Dip and reach. That's it, dip 
and reach. You've got to engage your core here or you will not be able to touch that toe. And if you can't lift up the arm and the leg at the same time, that's okay, just do dips. So pelvis nice and high and just dip here, okay? So dipping is fine. Five, four, three, two, and last one. Coming back over onto your stomach. We are finishing off with our last exercise here. This is our tricep push-ups, but a different kind of tricep push-ups. You are lowering down onto your forearm. So, hands come out slightly in front, core is engaged. You are dropping down onto those elbows and back up. Try to be in a smooth motion. Try not to stick your bum up, squeezing your booty. It's a tough one. It's really hard to lift up both arms at the same time. I feel your pain. Keep it going here, guys. You've got 10 seconds. I'm gonna count you down. The last five, four, three, two, and one. That's time. That was 10 minutes. Everybody's sweating. I know it. Pull your arm across your chest. Make sure you do a little bit of stretching out of your upper body. Taking that same arm behind your head. And tomorrow morning, we have mobility coming up at 8 a.m. It's a 30 minute class. So join me 8 a.m. for mobility. And starting next week is our Strong and Healthy at Home program, including three workouts a week, two lives, one done solo where you're given the entire workout, two runs or cardio sessions a week with a full breakdown of each of those, as well as a accountability group and a whole bunch of other stuff. So, Head on over, there's a link in my bio. Check out all the details. Let me know if you're joining us. We're starting on Monday. I've already got a good group going and I'm excited to have more people along for the ride. So, let me know. Yay, you're welcome. I know, everybody's sweating. I'm gonna post this one, it's a fun one. Add on this after a run. Anyways, it'll be up for 24 hours. So tomorrow, if you do like a morning walk or run, come home, get in another quick 10 minute arms. Okay, guys, so have a wonderful afternoon. Hopefully, I see you guys tomorrow morning, 8 a.m. Mobility, Independent Dream Girl. I know you'll be there, everybody. Hopefully, I'll see you. Okay, so have a great day. Bye.